Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's been a long time since we did an episode, but it's been busy, busy, busy for a long time now. Basically, yeah, new, <laughs> new city here in Liverpool. Lots of uh, activity, moving around. Uh, you already know about the new job. And we got a new family member as well, so that kept me busy for a while. But finally got a break. Well, I came actually to do some little, <laughs> a little chore to do here in the Liverpool city center. But basically, yeah, probably this is my first walk around in a while. Just thought I'd show you a little bit of the... Sorry about that. Not much I can do about the wind. I wanted to show you here around the Liverpool with the new developments around the dock. So basically, you probably already know the old historic Albert Dock. That was probably one of the one of the first docks to be renovated here in Liverpool, and it's been a, quite a, a big su commercial success here on this side. People love it. It's full of like restaurants, cafes. You can see there's like people and tourists on the around goes all the way to the waterfront and basically yeah everything you see here all this is new <laughs> if you look like uh, on Google Maps on the historic timeline back like in 2008 uh, 2004 basically you was there was nothing here <laughs> everything you see here probably except for this uh, Liverpool one complex there was absolutely nothing yeah <laughs> was all the way clear, all the way to that uh, library building there and the, the old Harper Masters building you know, the Three Graces other than that, yeah, it was like absolutely nothing <laughs> you can still see like on the, on the old historic maps when they are still building the Liverpool Museum now quite nice so I'm gonna try to get one of these Scooters here just to show you around Liverpool. area this whole area is called Pierhead probably the bus used to be like the main focal point where all the main ferries were landing in Liverpool right across from uh, Birkenhead and the Wirral from that side and basically all like the all, all the major ocean going vessels as well they were coming right here in the heart of Liverpool this is like the main harbour master the Cunard building you know from the Cunard lines and of course the Liver building uh, right now, we still got the Mersey Ferry building, right one. But uh, it's not, not many ferries come here now to Liverpool nowadays. <laughs> At least not for not for commuter purposes anyway. We always like trust for tourists now, just around the Mersey River here. But even so, yeah, this uh, Liverpool Museum, all of this, this is quite new. It was in that sometime in the 2008-2011. Quite used to be a lot of things here on the waterfront before 2010 2005 ish the place used to be quite deserted actually if you look at the old photos well luckily yeah with a good initiative and uh, some help from the european union yeah a lot of it was done actually with the eu money the Liverpool got this waterfront back and all its glory so good for liverpool actually now we're gonna go right on that side. I think you can see one of the cruise ships there. It's probably the last remaining functional dock here on uh, in downtown Liverpool in the central part. So very nice. Also, yeah, probably <laughs> this was the first time I rode one of these. <laughs> surprisingly fun and surprisingly fast, actually. <laughs> Didn't expect them to be that fast, <laughs> but it's nice. It's a nice experience. Yeah. As a side note, uh, I don't know if you can see right on this side, there's a new addition to the pier head. 
this is basically a little canal that connects uh, the old Liverpool to Leeds barge canal, you know, the old Victorian bar barges canal, the long barges and basically it used to end somewhere in the docks of Liverpool and so they made an extension so everyone who has like, you know, one of those little fun little long barges they can use them and come all the way to Liverpool to the central docks you know, to like Albert Dock and all that that was a nice addition actually good for Liverpool no. Let's continue our journey. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous ship. This jewel of the seas, right here on Princess Dock. It's like the furthest uh, still functional dock upriver here in Liverpool. And mostly used by cruise ships. And I don't know if you saw that little ferry there that going to it's going to the Isle of Man. And all of this here used to be like new developments, basically new office and residential developments. Okay, uh, used to be one of the tallest, tallest buildings in Liverpool. It was replaced now by its uh, sister building on the West Tower, just across the street from the Strand. It's quite nice. There's also the pilot launch here. So basically, it's one of the main launches for the pilots for all the cargo ships that are coming in Liverpool. Way, 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 way down there where the new docks are because obviously the old now the, the ships are much bigger they need bigger drafts so larger depths more uh, warehouse space a lot of flat space and obviously this was like prime real estate here in uh, central Liverpool so they couldn't use it for which is not feasible to use it for commercial shipping anymore so instead yeah they build all these nice office buildings here for the people Good, good job actually. I'm gonna go right across there, show you that little building over there. Uh, sorry about the wind. So basically, this will be the new Isle of Man ferry terminal. So, of course, yeah, the city wants to take out that ferry from central Liverpool, you know, next to the next to the cruise ships because, yeah, I imagine it's becoming a nonsense, <laughs> quite crowded and probably it's not a safe environment to offload cargo, passengers, uh, lorries, all that <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want a ferry <laughs> in smack down in the middle of your central part of the city so that's why they did this Isle of Man ferry terminal which is now under construction so it looks like it's almost finished now or at least uh, I don't know what's the situation on the inside but from the outside the progress looks pretty pretty good actually and look at all these nice new developments here on this side look at that now this looks like a really nice developed area of Liverpool yeah I imagine there's not there's not gonna be ships anymore coming through <laughs> You can see this this lock this lock was permanently sealed down. So that that's a concrete slab right there. So it's not going anywhere. <laughs> There's no ships gonna be moving anytime soon <laughs> back here. But it's okay, you know. Progress. No more commercial shipping, but you've got a lot of you know nice service industries, high-end residential areas, all of this, nice places. Uh, and those are like the old warehouses which were now converted into either offices or hotels or anything like that uh, I'm hoping we can go on that side so I can show you one of those nice conversions that they got here 
but pretty nice yeah actually overall quite a nice area and still a lot of space here for developments they're still building a lot of stuff so good actually very good i'm impressed by the progress they're doing here in liverpool uh, it used to be like right before the pandemic you know before like even once start once things started to pick up after the 2008 financial crisis they were really started to build a lot of stuff here <laughs> a lot of investments here in central liverpool but after the pandemic hit it really grinded down to a halt and it started to pick up now again a lot of the construction sites are uh, did resume work but slow really slow slow progress unfortunately anyway okay. better small progress is better than no progress right so let's see what else we got on the waterfront here in the old docks of liverpool guys this here will be the tobacco warehouse one of the largest remaining and surviving warehouses from the old estate dock estate and right now i believe it's being converted into like luxury apartments i don't know how many units were converted because uh i don't know there's like <laughs> a lot of space a lot of empty space there inside especially on the other side of the building but from what i saw in the pictures Looks pretty good actually, good conversion, <laughs> good space conversion. Uh, let me see if I can look up some pictures for you there. And right across from there, where you see that little bridge there, uh, there's another very, very good example of conversion. Let me see if I can get you over there. This is quite fun actually. <laughs> I enjoy this little, little scooter thing. <laughs> Didn't find it was that fun. So you can see yeah, one of the old dots here from the tobacco warehouse on the right side and on the left side we've got a new hotel also made from one of the old warehouses called the Titanic Hotel. Uh, this Titanic Hotel, uh, I've seen it online, quite nice, it's got like a long stone pool inside. Oh, and now the wind is picking up. Let me see if, if I can get you a little closer there. this nice piece of old infrastructure from the dock estate and I believe it's still functional yeah so as you can see same like the bridge in Hull which I showed you in the Hull episode that little round part there so all of this basically swings up like that and allows like a ship to go through from the main dock estate there you can see the old clock tower there I think it might have been like a pressure tower coming here into this area so this is a titanic hotel on this side and this will be the tobacco warehouse so you can see this side of the building was uh, renovated and it's finished now i don't know if anybody actually lives it's quite deserted to be honest but yeah definitely on the other side you see there's not even like windows and stuff <laughs> you can see like there's still grass and cranes and construction work but still good good progress not bad right not bad indeed and moving on from the old warehouses and by the way yeah until we got here it was like in some of the old uh, maybe probably like newish warehouses that are not used for to store goods anymore i saw in like a lot of uh, clubbing you can hear music coming out of them the invisible wind factory maybe the young Road. Maybe you heard of that. Definitely an up and coming area for the future. And probably like the last thing I want to show you here that big building over there. Let me see if I can get you a bit closer. So this is probably the closest we can get. So, right across the street from the Titanic Hotel, you'll see this huge building over there let's see if i can get here a little shot without getting in trouble so right here 
Yeah, my friend, will be the new Everton Stadium under construction. Now, I've seen the rendering and it looks awesome, really nice new arena. Very nice design. Nicer than Liverpool, I'm sorry to say for all the fans. Uh, somehow Everton got the better location right on the waterfront here. And the newer stadium with a nicer design now it's not better because it's new but you know it's when you could build something new from the scratch on an empty plot you probably get more design choices and all that so the architects had like a more freedom to design whatever they wanted now liverpool does have the liverpool club stadium which uh, i showed you in the other episode if you want to check the link right there now that's a nice stadium as well, yeah, it's got lots of history behind it and they did the best they could with the little squeezed plot of land they had there. Now nowadays, yeah, they're struggling with parking and public transport connections and all that. So there's a few issues there due to the location, but it's history, you know, you can't beat that. And right now, yeah, they're, they probably, I think they bought some land next to the old stadium in Anfield. And they're doing like they did several extensions and they're planning a next one or one of the under construction now I think I'm not sure but still yeah it's always gonna be squeezed and cramped there in Anfield and yeah I'm actually quite keen to see this lovely thing finished so yeah, I think honestly uh, I'm, I'm more interested in the design and the buildings and all that rather than actually seeing the football team playing <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be a nice stadium to see all right this was actually quite nice nice sunny day here in Liverpool and we needed it one of these sunny days because it's been quite horrible this summer <laughs> this nice British summer here <laughs> It's been like pouring, absolutely pouring every single day and only last like last few days started it for the sun to come up and now it's you can see it's still sunny, you can still see still stay in like short sleeves outside, which is nice, it's really nice. Ah I hope <laughs> come on bring that global warming or whatever because we want more sunshine here in UK. <laughs> No, it's quite funny reading about and watching on the news all the fires in Greece and you know killer heat wave in southern Italy and Europe and we were just like here <laughs> in the night my my gas boiler is starting at night because the the temperature inside the house drops <laughs> below 20 degrees <laughs> so <laughs> I was probably outside probably like 13 14 maybe even 12 when the wind gusts oh yeah that's okay and we love it just the way it is <laughs> so anyway guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up probably go have a pint quickly <laughs> and try to make my way home because there's a train strike now <laughs> and i only found out about this when i actually got into liverpool lime street no so i didn't know <laughs> but yeah there are plenty of other transport options oh well, maybe i'll i'll just ride this <laughs> all the way home <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Liverpool Ducks. Uh, I'll do one, I promise I'll do another one on the opposite side, like when you go from Albert Duck towards the marina and towards uh, Sefton Park and the uh, promenade, Ot Otter's Pool promenade, I think it's called. But now it's getting late and I'm thirsty for a beer. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys.